Shut down and kicked out. University of Oklahoma President David Boren closes the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity after a video serviced over the weekend, appearing to show members using a racist chant and glorifying lynching. Here in Tucson, the University of Arizona's chapter has also had issues in the past. They were recently under investigation after several members allegedly assaulted members of another fraternity. An investigation into that incident by the university found no code of conduct violations. But as Nine Your Side's Ricky Mitchell found out, they are still one of at least a dozen U of A chapters currently under some kind of sanction. When it comes to code of conduct violations by University of Arizona fraternities, it's a long list. Everything from hazing, destruction of property, and events with alcohol. According to the U of A fraternity and sorority programs website, about two-thirds of current interfraternity council chapters are under sanctions, meaning their activities are restricted until they complete certain requirements like writing apology letters or attending neighborhood meetings. There are also two active investigations right now into the Delta Sigma Phi and Kappa Sigma chapters for violations related to hazing and alcohol. Both of these chapters are on an interim suspension of all activities. And in the last three years, five chapters have lost their recognition and been kicked off campus, all for continued hazing and alcohol violations, with one added violation for Fiji that recently lost its recognition after one of its members died while trying to climb a cooling structure on top of a dorm. 19-year-old Michael Anderson's blood alcohol level at the time was twice the legal limit. During the police investigation, U of A officials say several Fiji members conspired to not cooperate with officers on the investigation. The chapter cannot return to campus until April 2019. And we did reach out to the Dean of Students office for this story, but they could not be made available today. We also tried reaching out to members of the U of A SAE chapter regarding what's happening right now at the Oklahoma chapter, but repeated knocks at their campus house went unanswered. In the newsroom, I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGUN 9 on your side. Ricky, thank you.